Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here for the one of the most exciting moments for me when I'm talking about hydrogen inside the JCB Power Systems factory where they make the new hydrogen engine. Unfortunately, I'm joined by Ryan here. Ryan, your team here has been developing this engine and the big things that matter, folks, four key things we're going to talk about is that this is not just a diesel engine with a few bits bolted on Absolutely and changed. Not, no. Things have changed. So we're going to start with the difference between diesel and hydrogen. Diesel, stage five, lots of pressure, got to run it hard. Hydrogen's not the same though, is it, Ryan? Explain. So hydrogen's very different. It's a gas. It's much lower density. It's not a liquid. So we have inject it into the engine at much lower temperatures, much lower pressures, and targeting that perfect mixing to give us that lovely efficient combustion. So as you say, completely different to diesel, completely different to liquid fuels, and, and completely not a conversion. It's a brand new ground up design of combustion process. So there's lots of different components on this. And I talked to earlier to you about this. There's a spark that we need in any of engine like this. It's not a spark of genius. It's a spark plug as such. And now you've had to design a different spark plug altogether. I think it's iteration four you're on right now. It is, yeah. So, so the spark plug obviously controlling that combustion is now that low temperature, low pressure combustion that I mentioned a moment ago. So we initiate it with that spark, controlling that precision of when we do that, vitally important. So that's led us to take existing spark plug technology and redesign it, reimagine it to work with hydrogen. Such a different fuel, such different temperatures, we've had to redesign that plug to make it work, to give us that life and that performance over the time that our customers expect. Slight problem though with hydrogen is that it actually has a exhaust that pushes out water. Well, in fact, steam, folks. Steam, Great yeah. when your engine's really warm. Not so good, Ryan, when the engine's cold. But they've developed something else that's not metal, that's actually liquid or fluid as such to support that getting their water out of the system. Tell me about that. That's the really important part, isn't it? Absolutely. All of these things are really important and they all sum together to give us a great product. But the oil that you're talking about, yeah, absolutely. It's a new oil. You can't just put normal oil into these engines. There's too much water in there. So we've worked on that oil on that additive pack to trap that water, keep it in the oil. And then as the engine gets hot, it allows that water to boil off harmlessly later when the engine's warm. So yeah, lots of technology, lots of, lots of investment in, in research on those oils and those additive packs to give us that new hydrogen specific oil to work in our lovely hydrogen specific combustion process. Now there's four points, Ryan. What's the final one that people need to know about about this engine and what you've been doing in the development? Well, it's the other vital ingredient. We put in the hydrogen, we need something else to make that combustion. That's the air. And we need lots and lots of that air. And we get that with this lovely turbocharger. We all know about turbochargers, but this one's, it's a high efficiency turbocharger pushes much more air into the engine. That's what helps us pick up that hydrogen, entrain it with that air, mix it, gives that a perfect combustion. So as I said, all of these things summate together to give us that fantastic product. Turbo, one of those vital parts that gives us the, the ingredients, if you like, the, the recipe for success that we have here. And the success recipe is fundamentally for us, folks, turbocharging our road to net zero, off-highway road to net Absolutely. zero. Thanks very much, Ryan. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much.